Welcome to Natopia. Today, we're going to take a trip back in time and explore five curious facts about life in the 18th century. Back then, many habits and customs were very different from what we have today, and that may surprise us. From the low life expectancy to the extravagant fashion and violence as a part of daily life, we'll discover what the routine, customs, and challenges faced by people of that time were like. I invite you to subscribe to the channel now, so you don't miss the next videos. Are you ready? Let's get started. In the 18th century, life expectancy was significantly lower than it is today. According to historical estimates, the average life expectancy was about 35 to 40 years in Western Europe and North America during the 18th century. There were several reasons for the low life expectancy at the time. One of them was the lack of basic sanitation and hygiene measures, which led to a greater spread of diseases. In addition, Living and working conditions were often unhealthy and dangerous. People were exposed to a range of risks, such as workplace accidents, occupational diseases, and environmental pollution. Medical conditions were also very different from today. Medicine was less advanced, and many diseases were poorly understood and treated. Additionally, the availability of medicine and treatments was limited. Many people also suffered from malnutrition and lack of access to basic health care, fortunately life expectancy has changed significantly over the last centuries. Sanitation conditions have improved, medicine has advanced, and access to healthcare has become more widespread. Nowadays, the global average life expectancy is around 72 years. In the past, water was often seen as a vehicle for the transmission of diseases. This led to a negative view of baths and water in general. In fact, many people believe that water could penetrate the body and cause illness. As a result, Hygiene habits at the time were very different from those of today. Many people avoided taking regular baths and did not have the habit of washing their hands frequently. Instead, they used perfumes and powders to disguise body odor. In addition, cleaning clothes and environments was done much more sporadically than it is nowadays. Despite this, personal hygiene was still important to many people. Cleaning was done more limitedly, using moistened cloths, sponges, and scented water. There was also a habit of cleaning teeth with toothbrushes made of bones or animal bristles. In the 18th century, fashion was extremely elaborate, especially among the upper classes of society. Clothing was made of luxurious and expensive fabrics such as silk and brocade, and featured intricate embroidery, lace, and other embellishments. Women wore long and voluminous dresses, often with skirts with metal or bone frames, to create a flowing and elegant effect. Wigs were common especially for men and women of nobility, and were often adorned with ribbons, feathers, and other decorations. Heavy makeup was also popular, with faces painted with white powder to give a pale and opulent appearance. Elaborate fashion was a symbol of status and wealth, and only the wealthiest and most influential people could dress in this way. Expensive and adorned clothing was seen as a way to display one's social position and impress others. However, elaborate fashion also had negative consequences at the time. The production of exquisite and luxurious clothes required a lot of manual labor and resources, which often resulted in the exploitation of workers and unsustainable use of materials. Additionally, the heavy use of chemicals and toxic dyes to dye fabrics and decorate clothes may have had negative effects on the health of people who produced and wore these clothes. In the 18th century, houses were built quite differently from modern houses. Generally, houses were small and had few rooms, often shared by several people. The walls were thin and often did not reach the ceiling, which meant that sound could easily pass from one room to another. Beds were usually shared by several people, including family members and guests, and often placed in common rooms, such as the living room. The bathroom was also shared, usually in a separate building from the rest of the house. There was no privacy in using the bathroom, and often several people used the same space at the same time. Family life in the 18th century was very different from modern life. Families were usually large and often included distant relatives, servants, and other members of the community living under the same roof. Children were raised together and often cared for by servants or older relatives. Meals were taken together and often were social events, with family members and guests eating together. Due to the lack of privacy and personal space, people in the 18th century often developed very close and interdependent relationships with each other. The family was the center of social and economic life and cooperation and sharing of resources were fundamental to survival. The 18th century was marked by many conflicts and was around the world. In Europe, 
The Seven Years' War 1756-1763 was a major conflict that involved many countries and resulted in millions of deaths. European colonies also fought for territory and resources around the world, including in North and South America, Africa, and Asia. Violence was also common in everyday life. Physical punishment was a common form of punishment for crimes, and often it was very brutal. Public floggings, whippings, branding, and other forms of punishment were common for crimes such as theft, disobedience, and even blasphemy. Public executions such as hangings were also common and often drew large crowds. In addition, violence was a normal part of daily life for many people. Fights, duels, and violent confrontations were common, especially among upper-class men. The culture of violence was also perpetuated by the glorification of military heroes and the emphasis on male strength and courage. Today, it's easy to look back at the 18th century and judge the violence that was so common at the time. However, it's important to remember that violence was a normal and accepted part of life at the time, and that people of the time did not have the same values and beliefs that we have today. At the same time, it's important to recognize violence as something that needs to be fought and overcome so that we can create a more peaceful and just world for everyone. Did you like the content? Then don't forget to leave a like and share it with your friends. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe now and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. I'll see you in the next video.